guys, I've got another recipe video for you today. I got so many requests to show you guys how I make my pizza rolls that I've Instagrammed a few times. I love pizza and if I crave something like that around lunchtime then I tend to make these because they're just a bit lighter, they're quick, they're easy. Whenever I have pizza I always make it from scratch. So that can take a while to make the dough. It's not too long a process but it just means that sometimes it's ruled out at lunchtime if you don't make the dough beforehand. These take under 10 minutes, probably around 5 minutes if you're really quick and they're about 200 calories. I've been making these since I moved to Spain a few years ago and I lived in a tiny tiny studio apartment with no real, well no oven and the kitchen was really tiny, I had a microwave and it had a grill function. So if you're a student and you're living in halls of residence and you feel a bit restricted with the equipment that you've got, this is perfect for you. My top tip for students as well with these, if you've been out drinking in the evening, it happens. People tend to get food afterwards, if you've had a little bit too much to drink you kind of get really hungry. Um, people tend to grab a pizza, a takeaway pizza or something like that on the way home. Make this before you go out. If you are on a healthy living kick and you're really wanting to lose weight, you're really serious about losing weight and exercising, alcohol can be the enemy. Obviously it's best if you don't drink but students will be students and you will be drinking. So if you do come home from a night out, this is a perfect thing to have to satisfy that pizza craving but not go crazy and feel terrible about it in the morning and let it have an effect on your healthy living plan if that's what you're trying to do. You can make them in advance, this is also great to take to work with you for lunch or something to make in advance. Make them but instead of heating them up, roll them up, wrap them in some tin foil, put them in the fridge and you can have that when you get in. You can whack it in the oven or in the microwave without the tin foil, students. If you're going to eat something and you're going to come home after drinking and want something anyway, then have that prepared, just think ahead and you can have that in your fridge and ready to go. Like I said, they're around 200 calories, it really depends like what brand of cheese you use and how much you use and everything, but the version that I show you is around 200 calories, 210 calories, something like that. So first of all, what you'll need to make these, we'll need the wraps. I'm testing out these rye wraps at the moment, so I'm using these, I got them from my local health food store. You can use whatever wraps you have or whatever wraps you like. You'll need some tomato puree for the base. For one wrap I like to add around a quarter of a pepper, half a red onion, chopped up cherry tomatoes and about two tablespoons of sweet corn. I chop the vegetables really really thinly and the reason that I do that is because it's not on a thick pizza base, it's not going to be being heated for quite a long time so it just gives them a chance to warm up properly. You can always saute your vegetables beforehand or grill them if you want to give them more of a grilled vegetable flavour but this is just the quick easy version of the wrap. Then you'll need mozzarella cheese. Grated works best for this because you want it to be in and out of the oven really, really quickly. For this recipe I use about 20 grams of mozzarella cheese, which is not a great deal, but you don't really need any more than that. If you do want more, you can add that, and if you're vegan, you can skip this step. And finally, to give it that pizza flavor, you will need some oregano. You wanna start off by laying the wrap out flat, then you just apply the tomato puree. I use about a tablespoon and a half, something like that. Spread it out so your wrap is covered evenly. Next, apply your vegetables. So add your tomatoes, your peppers, your sweet corn and your onions. Sprinkle a bit of oregano on top. I like to add some chili flakes as well. Chili speeds up your metabolism and I like spicy food. You can skip this if you don't like spicy food. And then sprinkle the mozzarella cheese all over the surface evenly. I just ground a little bit of black pepper on the top of this one just for a bit of extra flavour. And then you want to put it in the oven. And I put it in the oven on high for about a minute and a half, two minutes. Keep your eye on it because the edges of the wrap can start to get a bit burned. If you don't want your wrap to be crispy then you can always roll it up, put it in the microwave and heat it for, I don't know, 30 seconds or you can roll it up and put it in the oven as well. If you want to make them in advance, you could roll them up, individually wrap them and put them in your fridge to eat at a later date. When your cheese starts to melt and the edges of your wrap are browning slightly, take it out of the oven. All you need to do now is roll it up, slice it. I like to eat mine with a side of baby leaf and then I drizzle on some healthy homemade salad dressing. Let me know if you want the recipe for the salad dressing and I'll be happy to do a video on that in the future. That's all I do to make my healthier pizza wraps. Let me know if you give this a go and if you do make it then tweet me a picture or Instagram me a picture. Twitter's at Gems Maquillage and my Instagram is the same name. I'll leave all my links for Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, all that kind of thing in the description box below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I do Instagram my meals quite regularly and if you see something that you like on there I'll be happy to do a video to show you how I made it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!